Hello, and welcome to GCPL's Educational Video Game Highlight. Today, we will look at the logical journey of the Zumbinis. The Zumbinis, driven out of Zumbini Isle by the nasty bloats, must travel across a strange new continent to find a new home. At the beginning of the game, we create a team of 16 Zumbinis, each with a different combination of hairs, eyes, nose, and feet. After creating our team, we begin our journey at the Allergic Cliffs. There are two bridges supported by six wooden pegs. Each bridge allows only certain characteristics to cross. If a Zumbini crosses that has an incorrect characteristic, the cliff will sneeze and blow back the Zumbini while also knocking off one of the wooden pegs. If all six pegs are knocked off, the Zumbinis that have successfully crossed will move on, while the others are left behind. With this first puzzle, we see the central theme of this game, identifying characteristics and trial and error. And those left behind strike out for the nearest haven. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow, the other guard surely will. They're blue! Welcome! Our next puzzle is the Stone Cold Caves. This is basically a harder version of the Allergic Cliffs. There are four roads guarded by their respective stone faces. Each road only allows for certain characteristics to proceed. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, one very hungry pizza troll. Flames? You're not flames. The next puzzle is Pizza Pass. Huh. Whatever you are, make me a pizza. The goal is to give the pizza troll a pizza with the correct <laughs> toppings. There are noticeable changes to this puzzle depending on the difficulty. On the not-so-easy setting, there is only one troll. On the oh-so-hard setting, there are two trolls with a serving of ice cream being added with two toppings in addition to the pizza. On the very hard setting, there are three trolls. And on the very, very hard setting, there are three ice cream toppings. This puzzle is all about trial and error. After three incorrect attempts at giving the trolls their pizzas, they will start knocking Zumbinis away. Now let's pause for a moment. Look at these three trolls. These trolls are the bane of my existence. Even as an adult, I have so much trouble with this puzzle. It's all about trial and error, and I can't seem to find a good strategy for it. This game is meant for children, and I am being stumped. I challenge any adult to attempt this puzzle on the hardest difficulty and come out with all 16 Zumbinis. Once all of the trolls are given their pizzas, the remaining Zumbinis can proceed. The first leg of the journey is over, and we arrive at Shelter Rock. The Zumbinis cannot proceed from here unless there is a full party of 16. If there are less than 16, the current Zumbinis stay in the storage compartments, and a new party of Zumbinis must depart from Zumbini Isle at the beginning. Once all 16 Zumbinis are present, you are presented with a choice of two roads to go down. We will call the top path 2A, and the bottom path 2B. We will start with 2A. Welcome to the boat. Now hurry yourselves up and find your 
Our first puzzle on path 2A is Captain Cajun's ferry boat. The Zumbinis must cross the river on the boat to proceed, but the captain will only allow Zumbinis on the boat if they are sitting next to a Zumbini that has at least one characteristic in common. After that, we come to the Titanic Tattooed Toads. There are lily pads, each with a shape and color, floating on the river. There are also toads, also with a shape or color, on the riverbank with the Zumbinis. The goal is to find a path along the lily pads and place a Zumbini on the back of a toad that matches the pathway found. Each toad can be used twice before it swims away for good. Zumbinis will get a rise on the beast. The final puzzle of Path 2A is Stone Rise. This puzzle is similar to Captain Cajun's ferry boat, except that the characteristics that a pair of Zumbinis need to have in common with each other are shown to you. You did it! You saved them all! Now let's backtrack a bit and see what Path 2B has in store. The first puzzle of 2B has the Zumbinis encounter the Fleens. The goal of this puzzle is to lure the three Fleens off of the tree branch by luring them away one at a time with a Zumbini of a matching characteristic. Trial and error plays a huge factor in this as well because there is only one matching characteristic that will lure a Fleen away. puzzle is Hotel Dementia. The Zumbinis need to seek shelter for the night, and in order for the owner of the hotel to allow them to stay, they must place themselves in cubicles in a way that makes an entire row all have at least one matching characteristic. The hotel closes at midnight, and failed attempts will speed up the clock by five minutes. Now come to Mud Ball Wall. This puzzle is based around both trial and error and pattern recognition. A giant wall blocks the Zumbini's path. The goal is to launch mud balls of a certain color and shape to hit tiles on the wall that have a number from 1 to 3. The different shapes correspond to individual rows of the wall and the color corresponds to the columns. Once you discover what color and shape corresponds to what row and column, all that's left is to hit the appropriate tile that will fling a number of Zumbinis over the wall that matches the number on the tile that was hit. The second stage of the journey is over and we arrive at Shade Tree. Just like with Shelter Rock, only a team of 16 Zumbinis can proceed. If there are fewer than 16, the current team will wait at Shade Tree while a different team will make their way from Shelter Rock or from Zumbini Isle. Once a team of 16 is ready, the final stage of the journey begins. Throughout these gloomy 
many mountains, strange carvings left by ancient peoples are everywhere. The first puzzle of the final leg of our journey is the Lion's Lair. A giant stone lion guards a path made up of 16 stones. On the wall are pictures of Zumbini characteristics going from left to right. The goal is to place Zumbinis on the stone path in order from left to right, matching the order of characteristics on the wall. The next puzzle is the mirror machine. The Zumbinis find themselves on one side of a chasm. A giant crystal hangs in the center with a bunch of mirrors representing different Zumbinis on the other side of the chasm. The goal is to match a Zumbini with the image on the other side. As the difficulty increases, projections of characteristics will appear on the Zumbini side. Our final puzzle is Bubble Wonder Abyss. The final obstacle is another chasm, but this time the Zubinis must encase themselves in bubbles to navigate a perilous automated maze. The arrows show what direction a Zumbini will go when they touch it, but be careful. Whenever a Zumbini touches a red arrow, the arrow will change direction. There are also black holes that suck in any Zumbini unfortunate enough to enter it. Careful planning is required to help the Zumbinis to their new home. After all the trials and tribulations, you've done it. Zumbiniville! You successfully sent 16 Zumbinis to a new home, but the journey isn't over. The rest of the Zumbinis still on Zumbini Isle need to reach Zumbiniville too. The next journeys will not be the same as the first though. The better you are at solving the puzzles, the harder they get. This pool will provide a consistent level of challenge as you continue to play and can even give a adults a hard time. The logical journey of the Zumbinis is rated 6 and up and can be purchased on the Mac App Store and the Android Play Store. This has been an educational game highlight of the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Thank you for watching.